Hello fellow traders, and welcome. I'm going to explore this trading journey into the world of trading, especially during those times and these interesting market conditions. The financial landscape can be complex, but with the right approach, you can navigate it successfully. Today we'll explore some things like what you should do and things to avoid doing to thrive as a new trader in this market. Give us a like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Market conditions in a snapshot. Current market conditions can be volatile. Be prepared for price swings and uncertainty. Stay informed about global events and economic factors. Let's acknowledge the elephant in the room. Market, the market is currently experiencing some volatility. This means that prices might fluctuate more than usual. While it might be unsettling, understanding this is crucial for new traders. It's also important to stay informed about major news and economic data that can influence market, market movements. Do build a strong foundation. Educate yourself. Financial literacy is key. Understanding basic trading concepts, stocks, bonds, options, etc. Learn about risk management strategies. Knowledge is power, especially in the world of trading. Before you invest a single penny, dedicate some time to learning the basics. There are tons of resources available online and through libraries. Familiarize yourself with different investment vehicles and develop a solid understanding of risk management. Remember, the goal is to make informed decisions, not impulsive ones. Don't chase hot tips. Avoid chasing get-rich-quick schemes or hot tips. Do your own research and analysis. Trust your judgment over fleeting trends. There's a saying, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. The same applies to the world of trading. Be wary of anyone promising unrealistic returns or urging you to jump on the bandwagon. Remember, successful trading is a marathon, not a sprint. Focus on developing your research skills and make investment decisions based on your findings. Do start small and scale gradually. Begin with the small investment you can afford to lose. Resist the urge to go all in from the start. As your knowledge and experience grow, so can your investment size. Think of yourself as a seedling, not a mighty oak. Start small and prioritize learning over immediate gains. This controlled approach allows you to test the waters, make adjustments to your strategy, and build confidence without risking significant capital. As your knowledge and confidence level increase, you can gradually scale up your investments. Don't panic sell during downturns. Market downturns are inevitable. Don't panic sell. Focus on your long-term investment goals. Consider these dips as potential buying opportunities. Volatility is part of the market cycle. Don't let fear cloud your judgment. Remember, you likely have a long-term investment horizon. Instead of reaching impossibly, use downturns as opportunities to buy quality assets at a potentially lower price. A quick pit stop. There are a couple companies that I'm that are making significant moves next week. One is JP Morgan Chase, ticker symbol JPM, and the other, Fastenal Company, ticker symbol FAST. Let's get into their charts and analysis. Charting of JP Morgan Chase, ticker symbol JPM. JP Morgan is on an upward trajectory, bolstered by strong earnings reports and a resilient financial sector. Market sentiment is positive. As, as the bank shows solid fundamentals and growth prospects. Now this has an average volume of 10 million. The buyers came in about 15 million in volume, pushing this to 207. The sellers came in with 20 million in volume, taking it down to 197. If the average volume comes in, this can't push to 210 or better. If the sellers take, take the average down, this could correct in the 190 area. Charting of Fastenal Company, ticker symbol F-A-S-T. 
Fastenal is experiencing a downturn with worries about industrial demand and supply chain issues. Analysts are mixed on its ability to navigate current challenges. But with that said, the average volume is about 4 million. The buyers came in about 12 million in volume, pushing this to 65. The sellers came in with about 7 million in volume, taking it down to the low part of the 65 area. Over average volume, which seems to have happened overnight at the time of this video, comes in, this could get to 70 or better. If the sellers come in, this could correct in the low 60s. In conclusion, do develop a trading plan and stick to it. Create a personalized trading plan outlining your goals, risk tolerance, and investment strategy. Define entry and exit points for your trades. Discipline is key. Stick to your plan even when emotions run high. A trading plan is your roadmap to success. And yes, even though this is the end of the video, the focus of this is the importance of having a well-defined trading plan and discipline to follow it. This helps make rational decisions based on your trading strategy and avoids emotional reactions to market fluctuations. Thanks again for watching.